Okay, so today I'm going to try and teach you about regression and how to solve it. Alright, so we're going to look at this example whereby you're looking at these uh, predictors such as thickness, weight, year and type of cover and see how they influence or what relationship they have to the price. Okay, so we're looking at here, I've actually drawn a picture, a graph of it. Now each one of these little yellow dots represents a book and this red line is the line of regression. Now there's two things you can learn from this line of regression. First of all is where its intercept is and the slope of this line. So it'll have varying slopes. Alright. So over here you'll see you'll have you have your null hypothesis and this is what you've got to prove or disprove. Now in every situation for your the null hypothesis hypothesis for your slope is that slope is equal to zero, no relationship. And for your intercept, uh, y intercept at y equals zero. Alright, so what that means pretty much is that you'll have um, this slope would be straight across, that's zero slope, or intercept at the intercept there. Alright, so pretty much you're testing um, against the null hypothesis and you get p-values from the mini tab printout. This is the sort of thing you'll get. This is from chapter 3, slide 21. So pretty much if you have a low p-value, you reject the null hypothesis and if you have a high p-value, which is above 0.1, you keep the null hypothesis. Um, Next little saying, which is quite useful, is if it's low, it's got to go. Um, I was just using that, it's quite good. Alright, so this is the readout which you'll be asked to interpret in the exam. Pretty much, it's coefficient, SE coefficient and T row, all of this, you won't need to know. And these two here. All you need to know is the predictors, which is constant thickness, weight, year, cover, and their p-values, and R squared adjusted value. Alright, so pretty much how do you read it? Constant is the intercept. It is always the intercept. So the null hypothesis for constant is that the intercept is at the origin. So y intercept is at y equals zero. And you see you have a high p-value, which if it's low, it's got to no, it's got to go. So the high p-value means that you keep it. So this is saying that the intercept is at y equals zero which is shown here. We can assume that the constant intercept in this model is at zero. Alright, so we're looking at if thickness increases, does price increase? Alright, that's kind of the question. And the null hypothesis for that is that simply, no matter how thick a book is, price will stay the same. That's the null hypothesis. Okay, because you can see here, slope is equal to zero, no relationship. So if there was a relationship, as there is, as thickness increases, the price will increase. All right. Going back to here. All right. So you can see there's a very low p-value, which makes you reject the null hypothesis that there's no relationship, which effectively means that there is a relationship between the thickness and price. So you can say the thicker the book gets, the more expensive it becomes. So that's pretty much what this p-value is saying. So how you say it is there is very strong evidence, because that's a very low number, you say there's very strong evidence that there, that there is a relationship. And to say that there is a relationship, all you say is that the mean price depends on thickness. In a linear way, because it's a linear relationship, after allowing for other predictors. You could probably just say this bit here and get a six, this little bit here is just for your seven sort of thing. And that just goes through the whole thing. It's the same for year. as you uh, Same for weight, sorry. As you can see for year, year has a high p-value, which means that no matter what the year is, it doesn't have an actual effect on the price of the book. So if there's a high, essentially if there's a high p-value, 
doesn't have an influence on the price. If it has a low p-value, like these two, they do have an influence on the price. This one here, it's not a low p-value, but it's not actually a high enough p-value to totally accept the null hypothesis. So there's some evidence to reject the null. Okay, and this one here is this one here. So there's slight evidence to, if you reject the null, you're saying that there is a relationship. So there's slight evidence to say that mean price depends on cover type in a linear way, blah, blah, blah. So that's pretty much regression in a nutshell. Um, the only other thing is this R squared adjusted value. Don't use R squared, only R squared adjusted. They're pretty much the same, but I don't know. Um, pretty much what this is, is if you look back here, say you had some random points out here, which weren't explained by this model because this model only takes into account thickness, weight, year, cover. So there's other, there's other things such as color, um, whether or not it comes with a CD, these also affect the price. And that can cause outliers and these odd things, which aren't explained in this printout. So thickness, weight, year, cover, explains 50.1% of the overall variance within the thing. So that's all you really have to say, and you can see here this model is ex uh, this model is explained about 50% of the observed variation in prices, allowing for the number of predictors used. Once again, allowing for the number of predictors used that's only to get you seven sort of thing. But I'd chuck it in anyway if you can remember it. I think I'd um, copy and paste it all of this on my revision sheet for my test. Um, yeah, that's it.